So scientists turned light into a brick. And now people on the internet are wondering when we're getting Star Trek and Orville style holodecks and hard light constructs from Halo. Okay, so yes, scientists made light into a solid at temperatures close to absolute zero. We've turned light into a liquid cold than the void of space and with no viscosity before, but now researchers took the extra step to turn light soup into a block of light, kind of like that big ice cube you get in a drink. So um, how do you do that? Well, you shoot photons at an alloy made of aluminum, gallium, and arsenide, just a fraction of a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. The photons get stuck together in a lattice, and because they're so close together and it's so cold, their particles entangle with each other and start behaving like one entity. This is the fifth state of matter, a Bose-Einstein condensate, and we create them a lot to learn how particles can interact with each other in extreme conditions. Here's where things get weird. Why would you actually want to freeze light? For quantum computing, of course. Right now, we have a lot of trouble reading very fragile and very brittle quantum states before we can actually take an accurate snapshot. Being able to freeze and photograph the quantum state of particles as a solid solves that problem and lets us collect the output of a quantum algorithm. But could we use this method to make real-life holodecks with objects that we could actually touch? Mm, no. Uh, first of all, I don't recommend touching anything that's close to absolute zero with a body part that you're not prepared to lose. Secondly, the whole experiment lasted for about a second and the longest we've been able to freeze light as a liquid was 16 seconds. Oh, uh, you're also gonna need enough energy to cool an awful lot of very delicate metal. So yeah, no holodecks or hard light for us anytime soon unless you're not too attached to your limbs, have a nuclear reactor at your disposal, only need the experience to last about a second or so, and uh, don't care if it's actually invisible to you. But this is still very cool and really useful for all sorts of nerd stuff you'll end up using all the time in the foreseeable future without even knowing it.